you guys mix up one here. Um, just just a quick video, something awesome that I just found on the internet. Okay, so this is my Mac Mini. Uh, I just got it completely. Um, let me just get jacked with that. Um, I just got it completely wiped at the Apple Store. Well, it's really cool. First of all, is a I had iLife 06 and they gave me iLife 08 and I work 08. Which is awesome. So yeah, I, I have 10.4 Tiger. So. Okay guys, so that's not what this video is about though. What this video is about is, um... What is this video? Oh, okay. So, here's my iPod Nano, right? And it, it's a 4 gigabyte, um, third generation. Uh, so I had all 4 gigabytes of music on here. And I really, really wanted to find a way to get the music from here onto there. Because you know how Apple, you know, Uncle Steve doesn't want that to happen. So, um, let's see. I'll show you what I did. I downloaded probably the best application I've ever seen. It's called... Is it? Yeah. It's called... XPod. And basically what it is, is it shows you all the songs and TV shows podcasts, movies, anything like that on your iPod, um, and it'll basically allow you to import those songs to your iTunes, it's, it's a free application, the only downside is, is it, um, it just doesn't work with my iPhone, it only works with first generation iPhone, iPhone, first generation iPod Touch, basically any, um, it works with really, it works with any iPod, um, actually, you know it might work with the second generation iPod Touch. It might work with any iPod. Um, I'm not too sure, though. Don't count me on that. But, you know, I know for a fact it works on my third generation iPod Nano. So, okay. Okay, guys. Uh, that's all I really want to say. I'll put a link in the sidebar on where to get that application. It works on any Mac OS. Uh, I need 10, uh, OS 10, whatever, okay, so yeah, see you guys later, peace.